So probably the biggest opportunity for a driver to save fuel is just in its own driving efficiency. Just like how we drive down the road, how we handle our starts and stops, how we use the accelerator and the brake pedal. There's actually a term for maximizing fuel efficiency. Don't know if you've ever heard it before, but it's called hypermiling. This is something that I didn't really know about until I started researching the subject, but there's actually a term for this and there's people out there that really put it to practice. They're almost religious about it. It's like an active driving strategy, which means it kind of requires your attention at all times. You're just always thinking about it. Every single input that you give to the vehicle, whether you're on the accelerator or the brake, you're thinking about fuel efficiency. How is this affecting my momentum? How is this affecting the energy that I'm putting or taking off the vehicle? This example right here is, uh, this is not somebody that's like Johnny Leadfoot or by any means. This is just somebody that's like driving normally. And uh, the diagram is just trying to show the dotted line as being like a throttle trace or how much power we're actually using. And then uh, these are supposed to represent terrain features. And what it's saying is that a lot of times when we go up and down hills and stuff like that, we actually use more power than we really need to get up the hill and we're not conserving all the momentum on the way back down the other side. Same thing with starts and stops in the city. We're heavy on the accelerator when we start. We cruise down the road. We know a stop's coming up ahead. We know we got that light up there, but we just want to maintain speed and then scrub it all off at the last minute with the brakes. Whereas a hypermiler in the example is a lot closer to using that minimum finite amount of power that he really needs. And then when it comes to starts and stops, a lot easier on the accelerator a lot more time and coast, a lot more anticipation of what's coming up ahead. If you know a stop is coming up ahead, you don't need to keep adding energy to the vehicle. You don't need to keep accelerating. Uh, you can just kind of coast up to that light and then what happens? All the four wheelers go around you on the left and it's like, okay, I'll see you up there. You know, we're all gonna be stopping at that light. 